Um, the very first time I can remember fingerboards was we had built a ramp in our backyard in 1978 and there was a group of guys that skated and one of them was this guy Ernon Troya and um, he used to take the uh, popsicle sticks from uh, um, ice creams and kind of bend the tails and started pretending they're skateboards without wheels and stuff and we all started making them. Ernon came back I think it was probably, it probably was 79 by this time, and he came back with a uh, board that he had glued pieces of paper together and formed it in concave and took uh, little graphics out of the magazine and made a Z-Flex, uh, actually a Z-Woody board, and he had made his own trucks and wheels, and we just all started making them that, in that style. I was 16, and I had made, uh, I made Steve Caballero and Eddie Algura and Brad Bowman they were the pros. I made them all little fingerboards as gifts. And then I had got on this company called Veriflex. And uh, the, t the owner of the company was like, hey, we should make those. We should make those as a product. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Why does this fly in my eye? I'm sure kids did it all over, you know what I mean? Anybody who skateboards is playing with their fingers and pretending they're skateboarding, probably. And uh, by the time that video came out, Future Primitive, I think companies started making keychains. My dad used to make models and he used to make um, window displays. He was artistic and always made train setups and everything. And I'd rather just make skateboard things than uh, a train. So I, ma I made that little model of the Upland com uh, the combi pool. I don't think I built it to plan my run out, but I, I remember like dreaming and thinking my runs out sometimes with it. But I, I don't think I built it for that, but I, it's just you're gonna end up doing it. <laughs> I remember when my when Tech Dex came out and my son was really good and everything, I was like, what are these kids? It's like actually real to them. So at that point I was kind of like, oh, that's weird. I think I do fingerboard. Like when you're at dinner and stuff, you're always finding yourself going like this, don't you? Yeah. It's cool as, as you did things for fun that later on you see that people are kind of they're into them, and you're like you're just like a little kid doing something, and you didn't even really take notice of it. You do it because it's fun. <laughs> I don't think skateboarding is not sport at all, but I just think it's more than that. And I, fingerboarding, I think, is probably the same thing. It's just what kids do to entertain themselves. When we started skating, we skated because we hated sports. We were no good at sports, or we didn't like sports, or we didn't like the people who did sports, or. We didn't want to be told to do sit-ups. <laughs> <laughs>